How's everyone doing? I have another for sale video. I've got a bunch of Blu-rays, some 4K titles, and a bunch of DVDs. And as always, I want you to make the initial offer. So don't leave me a comment asking me how much for this, how much for that. You make the initial offer, and if I don't like it, I'll counter offer, and we can go from there. And also, as always, PayPal only, and or if you have like Google Wallet, that works too. And um, you have to uh, take into consideration shipping costs. So if you're in the continental U.S., it's a uh, minimum of three bucks. Uh, if you buy a few, it'll still probably be three bucks. But if you buy like a bigger box set, or if you buy a whole bunch, it'll be a little bit more. And shipping outside the continent, continental U.S. will be a lot more. Like I've shipped uh, three Blu-rays to Canada, and I think it was like sixteen bucks. I've shipped like two movies to the U.K. It was like twenty bucks. Australia, super expensive. So. Yeah, definitely uh, you guys have to cover the shipping, obviously, so think of that. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the movies. Um, first up, right off the bat, I've got uh, the first four Harry Potter movies, years 1, 2, 3, and 4 on 4K Ultra HD. And by the way, uh, none of the movies come with digital copies, unless they're sealed. Uh, and these aren't sealed. Uh, this is um, Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, and Goblet of Fire. So, the first four Harry Potter movies on 4K Ultra HD. Uh, Blood Feast from uh, Arrow Video, Herschel Gordon Lewis. Hickok on uh, 4K Ultra HD. Batman and Harley Quinn on 4K Ultra HD. Captain Underpants and the first epic movie on 4K Ultra HD. Night School, which is brand new, still sealed, but it came damaged. You can see it's a big crack right there. Um, so if you have a Blu-ray replacement case, the artwork is fine, and I'm sure the disc is fine because it's not loose or anything. It's just that big chunk right there missing out of the top. So if you got a Blu-ray uh, repl uh, replacement case, you'll be good. Uh, Atomic Blonde. Uh, this one does have a slash mark through there. I got that from uh, somebody selling it on, uh, I believe it was Letgo, so I assume it must have been a review copy. Um, Green Slime, brand new, still sealed from Warner Archive Collection. Warrior. Armed Response. Gunshy. Once Upon a Time in Venice. Love that slipcover. And amazing cast. There's even more famous people in there than just what's on the front cover. Uh, Command Performance with Dolph Lundgren. Rob Zombie's 31. Voodoo Black Exorcist. Punk Vacation. The wrapping's off here, but the security sticker's still intact. Friday Night Lights, the complete series, which is still sealed up. Right there. The Jacques Rivette collection from Arrow Video. Green Slime again, this one is opened. Pilgrimage with Tom Holland and John Barenthal. Nut Job 2, Nutty by Nature. This was has a slight mark I just noticed before through the barcode. Uh, Kill Me Three Times has the security sticker, but uh, not, um, it's been opened. Same with uh, Venus and Serena. Warm Bodies. Meridian with uh, the stunning Sherilyn Finn, Twin Peaks. And we've got uh, Curse of the Puppet Master, which is still sealed. Curse of the Puppet Master, which is still sealed. Retro Puppet Master, which is still sealed. Retro Puppet Master, which is still sealed. Tormented 3D. Night of the Living Dead. This is a UK release. It's Region B. Locked, so you'll need a region-free player for it. And while we're here, with the stunning Kate Bosworth. Three Generations. The Final Master, Bitcoin Heist, Nightfall, 
on the job. Money for Nothing with John Cusack, still sealed. Superhero movie, this is I believe a Dutch release, but it is region free. Puncture, which is a blockbuster uh, one in the old case, but you can take this uh, artwork out and put it in a Blu-ray replacement case so you won't know that it was from Blockbuster. A lot of people weren't aware of that, but that's a thing. Um, all the rest are DVDs. First up are uh, the National Geographic ones. They're all still sealed. A whole bunch of these different ones. These usually go for like anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks a pop. I'm not expecting to get that for it, but uh, yeah, I don't. I want more than 4 bucks a pop for them, so... Um, make me an offer. I'm willing to do a bulk offer for all of them. A lot of these ones, like it'll say two disc set on some of them, but there's many in here that are two disc or even three disc sets that don't say on the spine. But I'll just scroll through real quick so you can get an idea. A lot of these uh, TV shows and specials from National Geographic. But there's a big stack of them. Um, the Natural, this is uh, the director's cut gift set. Comes with a baseball with a facsimile, Roy Hobbs autograph, a hat, some baseball cards, all those goodies right there in a nice big box. And another box set is the Horror Hall of Fame. You can see all those goodies right there. And you can pause it right here if you want to see what's in each one of these. But Vincent Price, Boris Karloff, Hammer Films, Hammer Films, Classic Horror whole bunch of stuff in there. 26 movies in total. Uh, Demonic. Night School. The Piano Teacher. Coffin Rock. Which this actually yeah has a broken piece on the bottom of the case. And it is a former rental. I bought this from somebody and they didn't tell me. So I'm going to tell you because that's the way it should be. Resident Evil Vendetta, the recent CG film. This is the last, and I think, uh, the Resident Evil movies. I believe it came out after the final chapter, right here. Killjoy Psycho Circus, still sealed. Queen of Blood. I Drink Your Blood, still sealed. Seven Below, still sealed. The Fly and Fly 2 double feature. Frogs, Bats, Broken, which is a blockbuster exclusive, Tortured, Manhunter, which I love this edition. I had this like for ages, but I got the recent Blu-ray for it, but it comes with this cool file set in here, and it's a two-disc edition. This is the old school limited edition Anchor Bay, although it's limited to 100,000, but still a really cool edition. Unbreakable in the Digipack set. Mr. Uh, Wonderful, or Dear Mr. Wonderful with uh, Joe Pesci, one of his earliest movies. Kingpin, absolutely hilarious. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. This is from Pizza Hut right here. Uh, back in the day, they had, a, they had a special. They would give you these ones with, um, I don't know if it was a certain amount you had to spend or what, but still sealed up. Fun movie. Um, here are a couple bootlegs. These are ones that don't have official releases, so there's like a you know legal loophole around that. Uh, Serpent's Lair, and a lot of these bootlegs, I think people just aren't aware. Um, these bootlegs were like twenty bucks a pop. There's you know pressed artwork, um, the art, you know the actual artwork on there on the disc too, and then you know so bootlegs aren't always cheap unless you get like just a disc, then it's dirt cheap, but. Yeah, they, you st they still use them on conventions, websites, uh, Eyes of Fire. A lot of times they're just VHS rips, though. Uh, Rawhead Rex actually just got a Blu-ray release, so if anyone wants to trade for that one. Um, and then I've just got a couple of the discs for Ginger Snaps 2 and Ginger Snaps uh, 3 Snap Back. Right there. And let's work on this big stack right here. Doc Hollywood, still sealed. Table 19, which I actually really enjoy this movie. I would recommend it. Where's the Money? With a whole bunch of people in there. Method Man. Crashing Season 1. This also includes uh, Pete Holmes' HBO comedy special. I would definitely recommend uh, the comedy special and the TV show. Really enjoyable. Tons of 
comedians in there. Big Little Lies, another one I would recommend, HBO Limited Series. Sid and Nancy from the Criterion Collection. Again, these are all the DVDs. Ice Storm. I uh, love this film from Ang Lee. Glory, which is still sealed. The Outcast, which is still sealed. And it has, um, yeah, that girl who was on that, uh, was at the TV show that I can't remember right now. I was never a big fan. Was it The Middle or something like that? Um, Pitching Tents, right here. And it has uh, Jonathan Lipnicki, who was a little kid uh, from uh, ah, that TV show, The Human Head Weighs, or that movie, The, the Human Head Weighs 8 Pounds, and You Had Me at Hello. I can't think of the name. Uh, Jeremy Maguire. Uh, he's all grown up in here. Uh, Married by Christmas. There's a whole bunch of Christmas movies coming up. Uh, a Cinderella Christmas. Uh, that's These are all sealed uh, in the past like four or five titles. Uh, a Puppy for Christmas still sealed. Uh, Christmas with the Anderson still sealed. And here are some Hallmark Holiday Collection ones. Uh, Crown for Christmas with uh, Danica McKellar still sealed. Uh, this one has Candace Cameron in it. It's a Christmas Detour still sealed. And uh, this one has Sarah Lancaster and it's Tis the Season for Love still sealed. And the last uh, Hallmark Holiday Collection one is Ice Sculpture Christmas, still sealed. Mickey and the Roadsters, and it comes with a Roadsters flag inside as well, and this is still sealed. Coach Season 1, Coach Season 2, Years of Living Dangerously Season 2 from National Geographic, another National Geographic, uh, The Story of God Season 2 with Morgan Freeman, the Naked Gun triple feature set right there. And I believe each one of these has its own separate disc. Yep, that's a swing tray. So good stuff on that. Let's move this to the side. I feel like this is all going to fall over in a second. Everything is sliding over a little bit. All right, let's see. Uh, Naked Gun, Two and a Half, The Smell of Fear. Good People, Still Sealed. Cop Out, which is uh, signed by Kevin Smith at the top, so I want a little bit more for that for the signature. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal presents All-Star Comedy Jam live from Sin City. I Need a Dodge, which this has a, you know, slides out. It's got a VHS, or not VHS, cassette tape right there, which actually has a interview with him, Joe Strummer, some other different stuff in here. Um, if you like The Clash, if you like Joe Strummer, I'd say check it out. It's interesting to hear uh, the story, and it's cool that it has that cassette tape in there with a uh, recording from uh, the interview. And the nice digipack design, really cool set in general. I wish uh, more editions had this. I'm trying to put this back in here. There we go. And we've got um, Streets of Compton. Last Man on Earth, the first season, still sealed. American Dad, Volume 7, still... Oh, no, this one isn't sealed, sorry. Caught it. Uh, House Season 2, still sealed. Adventures of the Wilderness Family. The Great Outdoors. Love that movie. Major Pain, still sealed. I paid 10 bucks for it and never opened it. Womp womp. But fun movie. I have seen it before. Juice, love that one. Jefferson Airplane, Fly... It has interviews, live performances, I think music videos on here too. Punch Drunk Love, the two-disc special edition, which is still sealed. Some of All Fears. The Real World You Never Saw, Back to New York, still sealed. Which has The Miz in it, back in the day. Oh, there he is, right there. Uh, the Net. Dr. T and the Women, Coach the Complete Series, which is still sealed. Um, it's a little busted up at the top, but I think that's just uh, the way that these sets come uh, because of the packaging, but everything should be fine on the inside, but a great TV show, and I remember watching this all the time as a kid. It's an 18-disc set. Mad Men, 
Uh, season 2, still sealed. This is like a window box edition DVD set. Really nice looking. I think it looks cool on display. Classic show. Modern classic show. And let's see if I can push these off to the side here. Give me some more room. Uh, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Out. This is the Lego movie. And it has a miniature Darth Vader figure. And these ones always came busted up. I remember these. But uh, yeah, so there's that. But DVD still is good. And a little Darth Vader figure is good. A little box of butters. South Park has all kinds of goodies in here. I did a full unboxing of this on my channel before. It's got like beads and... All kinds of stuff, but uh, you can check that out. My unboxing for it. Pirates of the Caribbean DVD Steelbook. This is a rare... It does have a little uh, ding right there. This is a very rare steelbook. Uh, nothing on the spine, nothing on the back. Uh, I remember getting this ages ago. It used to go for ridiculous money back in the day. Um, it's still very hard to find. came out 2008. So, yeah. But um, I still would like to get a little bit more for this one just because... It is very rare, even though it's, uh, you know, a little bit older now. But uh, back in the day, it used to go for crazy money. Uh, Spider-Man 2, the gift set, has all kinds of stuff in there. And it's a heavy set. Uh, Ronin, this is a Digipack edition. Uh, it's Region 2. So you need a Region Free Player for it. Edward Scissorhands, uh, Anniversary 10. It's got a dent right there. But still cool looking in and in Boston raised up. Serendipity, this is a Dutch metal pack, Region 2. I'm um, a big fan of this film. I got a lot of these Dutch metal packs back in the day for you know collecting purposes, has interior artwork. They just look really cool and I got them for movies that I enjoyed. This is one of my favorite uh, rom-coms. Equilibrium, which is Region 3. It's a, um, I believe Korean, yeah, it's a Korean edition. And I got this one for our collector's purposes because it slides out, kind of like a digipack design. And then inside you've got um, like this 3D molding that sticks out of Christian Bale. And this one opens up too. So really cool looking addition. And I like the film. And Christian Bale is awesome. 300, which I believe this is a French edition. That's uh, the horizontal design. You've got a big book in here. And then you've got some art cards and stuff. So, pretty cool addition. iRobot, which is a UK edition. All kinds of goodies in this one. Um, you've got uh, art cards. More art cards. A film little cell right there. And another disc behind there, too. Um, yeah, this one has a little... Uh, mark right there, like kind of a rip right there. All these ones have it. It's from the classic edition again from uh, UK Region 2. Uh, Pulp Fiction has it as well. In that corner, actually both corners in this one. Um, yeah, so that was just one of those things for with these kind of additions. Big Trouble in Little China. It's got a ding right there in the corner. Uh, this was, a, I believe, a German release, Region 2. It's got a little bit of like, um, I don't know if that's rusting or what that is right, right there, but uh, oxidation. But still... Awesome looking and great movie. Lord of War, which is, I believe, a Dutch edition as well. So, again, Region 2, Nicolas Cage, and then the bullet holes right there. Uh, it's kind of a D-Boss, which is pretty cool. Uh, but very underrated film. The Fly from uh, the UK, Steelbook Cinema Reserve. And these Cinema Reserve ones were awesome. They would come with like these unique little booklets and, you know stuff behind there if it's a menu guide or some kind of artwork usually too so that was pretty cool great remake some like it hot another cinema reserve steelbook from the uk lifeboat another cinema reserve steelbook from the uk very cool clerks which is another uk steelbook miami vice 10 this is from uh, australia easy DVD. So this is another uh, you know, Region 2 set. You would have to have Region Free Player. Taxi Driver. Really cool. I got this for collecting purposes as well. Uh, I believe this is German. Yeah, Region 2. But uh, I love the look to that. The Day After Tomorrow. Here's an American Steelbook. Don't seem to have too many of those in this lot anyways. But um, there we go. And then the last one is another UK 
steel book for uh, Cinema Reserve for um, The Hustler. Again, a lot of these ones have uh, unique stuff in the inside, like this one has the, the billiards thing in there, and usually two disc stuff in there. There's a little bit of artwork, and behind there, the menu, going over all the, the chapters. So there you go, that's everything. Um, if you are interested in anything, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. And again, you make the initial offer. Don't ask me what I want for this, for that. You come up with the offer. If I don't like it, I'll counter offer. We can go from there. Again, shipping starts at three bucks for usually like one to four movies in the continental US. Uh, then it would go up from there. Some of the box sets are gonna be a little bit more. Um, but yeah, um, let me know. And uh, I wanna get some of this stuff sold. I need to make room. Uh, some of these ones I've had for a while, I've been trying to, uh, you know, sell on here, some of the box sets and stuff too. So I'm ready to make some deals. So if, you, if you're interested, let's do it. Uh, but yeah, again, uh, I'm not trying to, you know, give this stuff away at the same time. But uh, yeah, let me know. Comments down below. PayPal, shipping, US, I'll do overseas, but you guys got to cover the shipping, which will be expensive, unfortunately. I don't control that. And uh, you come up with offer. So that's it. Let me know. Peace.